Ladies and gentlemen, Primetime CP23 here, back with another Diablo 3 video. Today we are going to be looking at the uh, Natalia's Vengeance set dungeon. Is that Nat Natalia's Vengeance? Yes, Natalia's Vengeance. Uh, set dungeon build guide. So first off, we're going to be looking at the build guide. Um, this is really not that tough. You just want to have the full six-piece bonus of Natalia's. Uh, personally, I'm using a mantle of channeling that's rolled for strength, not dexterity. Uh, I do have a pretty decent mage fist, um, and I'm using uh, fire damage. Actually, I'm lying. I'm not using any fire damage. I don't know why I'm using Mage Fist. Uh, I think I intended to use the Fire Rune on Strafe and then just decided not to. I don't know. Doesn't matter. And I apparently had a extra Mantle of Channeling laying around, so I swapped. Um, then we've just got a... Uh, random Randall's Locket, and Nemesis Bracers, Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac, very important, and uh, Natal Natalia's Reflection Ring. Then we're using the uh, Kmar 10 clip, so that Strafe gains the effect of the Drifting Shadow Rune. Oh, I'm dumb and should probably pay closer attention to things. Go ahead and swap to Rocket Storm. Since we get the Drifting Shadow Rune anyway. And then uh, Vala's Bequest so that Strafe Projectiles Pierce. In the cube, we've got a Demon Machine just because it's a random weapon. We're not using Vengeance, so I didn't need. Uh, to use Dawn, we've got Cinder Coat to reduce the resource cost of fire skills by 30%, and a Ring of Royal Grandeur so that we can only be wearing five pieces and still get the six piece set bonus. Our belt is the Crashing Rain, which is fairly important for the build. Um, as for this set dungeon, to find it, you're going to want to go to Act 1, go to the Wortham Chapel Cellar, and that'll take you into this little area here. But if you just skip through that as quick as you can, you'll get to where we are now, um, which is right outside the Natalia's said dungeon. Um, for skills, we're using Evasive Fire with the Focus Rune, just in case we run out of Hatred, uh, Strafe with the Rocket Storm, and Drifting Shadow Rune. Rain of Vengeance with a Dark Cloud Rune. Vault with Rattling Roll. That should actually be Tumble. Uh, prep Punishment, so that you can instantly restore Hatred. And Companion with the Back Companion Rune, so that we can uh, instantly regain our Hatred. We're using the Archery. Blood Vengeance. Tactical Advantage and Hot Pursuit uh, passives. And let's get right into this. This is my very first attempt at this. I think this is the dungeon that I did last season, though. Uh, so we're going to have to maintain a const constant reign of vengeance for 90 seconds. We can't exhaust our hatred. Got to complete one objective and kill 150 monsters. And... Uh, to master the set dungeon, we have to complete both objectives and kill all mo all monsters. Um, so the uh, the bonus on the set for uh, Natalia's Vengeance is you're going to reduce the cooldown of Rain of Vengeance by four seconds when you hit with her pay with a hatred generating attack or hatred spending attack. Rain of Vengeance is going to deal 100% increased damage, and after casting Rain of Vengeance, deal 500% increased damage, and take 60% reduced damage for 10 seconds. This set is absolute garbage for anything other than doing this set dungeon. 
uh, would be cool if it received a nerf, because it's essentially uh, spin to win Barbarian. But let's go ahead and jump into this. So as soon as we get in, first enemy, we're going to pop Reign of Vengeance. And we're going to hit it again. And remember, you have to kill all of the enemies. So I almost let that drop. So that would have been bad. Ah. I got to pay closer attention here. If I fail this, it's literally just going to be because I wasn't paying close enough attention. Just in case anyone was wondering. And you literally just spin really fast and for a really long time. Oh, crap. We're not going to have enough time to keep Rain of Engines up for 90 seconds. Oh, I'm dumb. I wasn't paying attention. Might have been some enemies up here. I'm not sure. Doesn't appear so. We're going to get back down and hit some enemies here. an enemy somewhere, so I'm not going to be able to do this. Crap. Yep, one guy right there. Well, we completed it, but we didn't maintain vengeance for 90 seconds, so we got to try it again. Let's go. I hate my life. I really do. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this. It's really not that tough.
I almost forgot and let it drop off. So I was looking at the map. Oh dear god, I still didn't do it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this one more time. That's it. So, I mean, as you can see, this is my own stupidity that's causing me to fail this. It's not because of the difficulty of this challenge. It's not too challenging. I'm just stupid and not paying close enough attention. And I mean, when you can kill everything, and you, and it only takes you two minutes to clear the whole floor, if you screw around and don't get the full 90 second bonus, you're in trouble. Alrighty, there we go. We maintained vengeance that time. So, we should be okay. Now it's just a matter of completing the, the floor and not letting our hatred drop. So we're definitely taking a little longer this time, but that's okay. There we go. Alrighty, boys. There we go, and I've now completed uh, Slayer and almost all of Champion. All I have to do is kill Queen, uh, Queen Arane at uh, T10 or higher. So, alrighty, that's what I like to hear. I was able to master that set dungeon, and I suggest you all do the same, because that's a pretty darn easy set dungeon. So, I wish you luck in your seasonal journey, and ladies and gentlemen, until next time, this is Primetime CP23, and I'm out.